So 845 Naval Air Squadron uh, deploy out on exercise clockwork, uh, which is the annual exercise up here at uh, Royal Norwegian Air Force Base Bardafoss uh, to complete our environmental training in the cold weather environment. So essentially it's practicing the disciplines that uh, we fly at home uh, anywhere in the world, uh, but just honing those in these Arctic conditions. So things such as uh, flying the mountains, underslung loads, snow landings, uh, also covering things like trooping and formation. The main difference uh, compared to landing at home, when we land out here, uh, the snow, essentially with the, the downdraft that the Merlin causes, kicks up all that loose, fresh powder snow. Um, and it creates those conditions that we refer to as whiteout. Essentially meaning that the, the pilot has very few references that he can land the helicopter on. Uh, so what we uh, learn to do is we fly a pretty standard approach uh, that we would do back in the UK uh, to a marker. Now out here that could be a group of Royal Marines in a small huddle or a rock, uh, depending on, on the kind of scenario that we're in. And we look to hold that reference and, and put it as close to the aircraft as we can. Uh, at points you might lose that reference as you're coming down as that snow cloud starts to build. Uh, you just have to, to a certain extent, hold your nerve, uh, hoping that the, the, that snow cloud will dissipate and that you'll regain those references. Uh, and that's where the crewmen can feed in. They'll start to have eyes on the ground, how close we are away from it. But essentially, they're bringing it down to the ground. It's, it's a bit of a step up from the UK really, um, as long as all the other jobs that we normally do in the UK, we've got the temperature and the changing environment that we have to work through uh, on top of our normal roles. The aircraft have been working brilliant out here considering the, the temperature changes from around zero to pushing down to, you know, in the minus 20s. This morning we, uh, we did our yearly log move, which is uh, going up to the cabins up to the mountain cabins there that we had about four or five tons of logs that needed taking up and there's and there's no direct path so you can't road move any of these logs up there it's part of a, a safety for the cabins to be manned with all the the, the logs so they can burn and stay warm throughout the winter uh, it was for us you know we could do it in three or four hours which we've done today it, it's, it's good to do for the for the locals Out here on cold weather exercises, operating in a cold weather environment, um, doing our maintenance procedures out in the cold weather and just getting to grips with what Norway's got to offer. I'm not going to lie, it is arduous when you're outside in minus 14 and you're doing jobs where you've got to put little nuts onto little bolts. It's very hard to obviously get um, dexterity. The cold plays a big part on the aircraft and the airframe. Um, when, it's, when it's out on the line, uh, ready to go, we need to make sure that the, uh, that the ice and the snow is removed as much as possible. Uh, and when the aircraft starts up, the anti-icing uh, components obviously kick in. Um, serviceability has been pretty good. Um, we, we always encounter uh, the odd problem here and there, which we've managed to remedy quite quickly. We've, we've achieved some decent flying hours. Um, we've achieved uh, some of the tasking that we've, we've needed to, to achieve for the, for the cu currencies.